All right, so Traffic Jam Jimmy is here with us along with our own Tara Reeves and Dion Joyner Weems from the Audacity Group. Good morning, everybody. Hey. All right. Good let morning. Me, <laughs> let me tell you right now. All right, so gospel singer Kiera Shear told Page Six that she does not let her girlfriend <gasps> stay at her house when they visit. Instead, she makes them stay at a hotel. According to Page Six and this article, she does this so that her husband is not tempted to sleep with them. Kiera goes on to state that it is about boundaries and some friends don't know the balance and can't understand the balance. I don't know. This kind of shocked me a little bit because I'm like, I, I feel like the root of the issue is your husband, sis. I feel like, <laughs> I don't feel like it's your friends. I feel like the root of the issue is him. But, you know, I do agree. I do let, you know, family members go stay in hotels if we don't have space in my house. But this seems like it's a bigger issue. I, I kind of want to, I don't know, Tara, do you agree with this? Have you heard of this? Girl, I completely <laughs> agree with you. The root of the issue is always the man. I know that her friends, obviously, there's like a fine line there. Yeah. Actually, one of my close girlfriends growing up, mm -hmm. my boyfriend at the time, they whatever. Ooh. I forgave the girl. I will never talk to the man and you got ever rid again of in my him. life. Okay, but see, you got to the root of the I issue. I got rid of him. Dion, uh, mm -hmm. what's, what's the real issue here? Are we missing it? Okay, so, so here's the deal. One thing, my grandmother used to tell me, be careful, because you could be going out the front door and your girlfriend's coming in the back. <gasps> so there what? is there is this <laughs> thing of boundaries, right? Okay. There's a thing of boundaries. Okay. But back to your point, if mm -hmm. you have to be that cautious, of your husband, right? Then we have a bigger issue. There's a bigger it's not issue. Your girlfriend. It, this yeah, is your girlfriend. I was like, I, it's not trust. It's more so of a who do you have around you, Jimmy? Correct. Jimmy, what are we missing here? <laughs> You're the only man, boo. What, what's going? On? <laughs> defend, she defend needs your new, people. She needs new friends. I she needs new friends. I tell you what, I had some scum bucket guys I grew up with, mm -hmm. but I'd let them stay at my house and I knew they wouldn't touch my wife. So uh, well, she needs better you friends. The I'm not saying the guy's a saint. <laughs> they're scared of you in the beard. Jimmy. I'm not saying the guy's a saint, but, but she needs she needs new friends. She, she needs new trust. friends and she, she may need a, I don't know, I like her and her husband together, but I'm a little worried about the tempted part. Well, you know, we said our part. Now we want you all to tell it. Do you let guests stay at your house? Vote now on our website, foxbaltimore.com slash vote. When you get to the website, make sure you click on the lifestyle tab. You can also vote on our Fox 45 news app at the end of the show. We're going to see what everybody thinks. All right, up next, meteorologist Rebecca Schultz surprised her viewers in Milwaukee when she brought her 13-week-old baby Fiona with her on air to do the weather report. So she's currently working from home because of COVID protocols and just returned from maternity leave. According to Schultz, it was just minutes away from her next weather broadcast and the baby just woke up from a nap. So she picked her up and went on air. And if this isn't, like, I feel like she deserves an award for being an amazing mom. In this moment, you actually, like, you just pick up your kid and you're like, okay, yeah, well, this is here. We're going to do this weather here. And I, that's a bomb. That's amazing. That's a true, that's motherhood in its like rarest form. People don't get to see that a lot. Dion, what mm -hmm. did you think when you saw that? Come on now, super woman. I'm a hey. mother of three beautiful black boys. And let me tell you, uh -huh. if I was, if they came up the steps right now, I'd be like, Lady T, I'd like for you to meet my son. <laughs> let me present my sons to you. Don't leave me alone. <laughs> Tara, what did you think when you saw this mom pick up her baby and just be a mother on air, basically? Yeah. <laughs> I love this. I think with social media, with quarantining, this sort of veil of secrecy has been taken down. And we see mm -hmm. that people are real yes. human beings. They yes. have kids, they have pets. Their homes are sometimes messy. Like we've yes. just really gone to a better place as a society and not thought, okay, job is this, real life is this. Like we're trying to mesh the two. Okay, okay. All right, now let's move on to our next topic. All right, so let me tell you. A Maryland man went into a grocery store for chicken and came out with $100,000. His wife asked him to pick up some chicken for dinner and on his way out of the grocery store, he stopped to self-service a lottery vending machine. After scratching off his ticket and double checking with the Maryland Lottery app, <laughs> his wife says he let out a line of words that our kids are not used to hearing. Um, but that's amazing though. Jimmy, okay, what did you think about this? The man was picking up rotisserie chicken and won $100,000. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> I know what I'm having for dinner. I'm going to go get chicken tonight, That's man. Right. I'll tell you what, that is awesome. That's right. And it's just so like, how did he get so lucky? Leon, D Dion, when do we when do we ever get this lucky? <laughs> did he put the address of what, what the supermarket was? Right, right, right. No, they didn't put yeah. the address, the name. They didn't hey. put none of that. That's hey. my cousin. 
That's my that's cousin. That's my fake cousin, that's, okay? That's a huge blessing. A huge that's blessing. And I'm, I'm so thankful for them. And it's rare that you hear about that in Maryland, too. Tara, what did you think when you saw this girl? <laughs> You know what? I'm wishing it was me. I actually bought a Powerball ticket and a scratch off this weekend, and it wasn't. Next time. Next you time. Did you get the rotisserie chicken with it? You didn't get the, she didn't get the rotisserie chicken with it. We got Mexican. We got we Mexican, got Mexican. That's where you messed up. It's a combined amount of luck. I love it. Well, thank you guys for joining me today. Eat, eat, eat back. I'll see you later.